Welcome to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com, where you can watch or listen from any device. Rams Basketball on WMIX Sports is powered by the official voice of Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Rams Basketball is also sponsored in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square, and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Ren Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar winning edge schmidt ford of salem and also by the orthopedic center of southern illinois landers collision centers of mount vernon and salem schmidt chevrolet of mount vernon all stars and stitches central christian church and people's national bank it's time to join chris hugo and danny zerwinski from mount vernon rams basketball from the Ford Square WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, the Landers Collision Center's pregame show starts now. Welcome in the CHS Arena on the campus of Centralia High School as tonight the biggest rivalry in the South 7 will write another chapter and a book as the Mount Vernon Rams play the Centralia Orphans. A very pleasant Friday evening wherever you may be listening in on 94.1 WMIX FM as well as online at WMIX Sports. Com. If you're wondering why the voice is different, Chris Hugo unable to be here tonight. Denny Zawinski here will slide over a chair. And a guy we found, the only guy in Southern Illinois that knows football, wears shorts right now, and is a Seattle Seahawks fan, joins me on alongside head coach of Mount Vernon Rams, Jared Shaner. Thanks, Coach, for joining me tonight. You're the only guy that fits those three qualities. I think you might be right in Southern Illinois. Thanks for having me tonight, Danny. Uh, excited to be here. Should be a great great atmosphere and a fun basketball game this evening a lot of people are making their way in and a lot have made their way in a lot of seats still available but not many as they start filling closer to varsity time we welcome you in the landers collision center's pregame show they continue to expand their service in mount vernon and salem after your next collision ask about free detailing as long as you're on your car big or small landers fixes them all one triple eight landers we'll take our first break on the pregame show and come back and we'll break this rivalry down in this matchup here as you're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make us stand out from the crowd. Independents like the medicine shop offer home delivery. People find that so convenient and not just seniors uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evenings is just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you and we'll take care of the rest. The medicine shop pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts and many other 90 day plans. The medicine shop 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday Sports Show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams Basketball. 
Welcome back to Centralia and the Landers Collision Center's pregame show, Big or Small. Landers Collision Center's fixes and now details them all. Premium detailing is now available at Landers Collision Center's. Call them at 188-LANDERS. That's one 8 landers Denny Zerwinski, Jared Shaner on side here at Centralia. Coach, you've been in this situation before. You had a full week to get ready for the orphans in football. It's hard to keep kids focused, hard to keep kids entrenched when you've got a lot of ways to distract them along the way. What do you do as a coach if you're Scott Gamble this week? Keep everybody focused on what they need to do on the floor to get ready for tonight. Well, I think you said it. That's the key is just trying to keep the focus. And, and each night you've got to remind the kids, uh, you know, what the ultimate goal is. And I think, you know, one of the other things is um, in a rivalry like this, whether it be football, basketball, uh, the, the chess teams going at each other, when it's Mount Vernon, Centralia, it, one thing that you don't want to do is early on in the week, you, you don't want to hype it too much. You, you've got to kind of build up to this point. Um, the kids are already going to be excited enough. You know, obviously, these kids have grown up 12 miles apart. They've played youth sports forever against each other. So I think one of the keys that you like to do is early on in the week, you go about your business, um, but you don't make it m- more than what it is. And you know when you come out and you tip it off on Friday night, the kids are going to be ready. Kids are ready to go. Both teams in the locker room. The orphanage is ready to go. The chaos cage in the upper deck. Pretty well filled and a lot of orange and black in town, as well as obviously red and white. As we take our second break on the Landers Collision pregame show, we'll come back and talk more about the Orphans and the Rams. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball on WMIX. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt. I want to thank Mount Vernon and the surrounding area for continuing to support us over the past five years. If you have never sat down with someone to go over your insurance program, let me invite you into our office. Let us show you what working with the industry leader, represented by a local agent, can do for you. I'm located just off 42nd Street. You can reach our office 24 hours a day at 242-1421 or on the web at TonyWilt.com. Thanks again and go Rams. People's National Bank makes purchasing a home easy. Hi, this is Joy Schrader, Mortgage Specialist from People's National Bank. Visit peoplesnationalbank.com to fill out an online application 24-7 and you will be on your way to owning your own home. If you have any questions, give me, Joy Schrader, a call at 241-6928. People's National Bank, your home for home loans. Proudly serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Loans subject to credit approval. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. We're really proud right now to be a Chevy dealer. It's a lot of fun. We have free maintenance on the entire lineup of the Chevy brand. Two years or 24,000 miles, you pay nothing for oil changes. So that's a remarkable deal that Chevrolet offers its customers. And with our redesigned and totally renovated facility, our customers really enjoy coming here for service. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Complete. That's the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois with a full sports medicine clinic, state-of-the-art MRI, a spine care team that focuses on pain management, arthroscopy specialists offering total joint replacement, hand surgery, and complete rehabilitation services. Doctors Chow, Hool, Ahn, Kowalski, Freehill, and Smith stand ready to serve you today with offices in Mount Vernon and Centralia and satellite offices in Benton and Nashville. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Find us on Facebook. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Welcome back into CHS Arena. The Orphan Chiller is out as the school loyalty being played here in Centray. As we welcome you to the Landers Collision Center's pregame show. They can fix that small fender bender, a major collision of any size, and now they can detail it to bigger small Landers. Fixes and details them all. One triple eight Landers. Denny Zerwinski, Jared Chainer alongside both teams suffered a loss last Friday night. Centralia lost their first game of the year at Althoff. Car- Mount Vernon lost to Carbondale. Both came back with wins over inferior teams on Saturday night. Then you roll into this game. Two different mindsets. Centralia had been at home every game but three. Mount Vernon's been on the road a little bit. Who does that favor when you come into this situation here tonight? Well, I think, you know, I think it's got to favor the home team. Uh, they're comfortable here. They've, as you said, they've played uh, nearly all their games here this year. Um, good Centralia crowd here this evening, as, even though, as you said, there's a lot of orange and black in the crowd, too. Um, but, but just a tough place to play tonight. But I think overall it's got to favor Centralia. But uh, Coach Camber, I'm sure, used that as motivation throughout the week in order to prepare the guys. Mount Vernon will go with the same starting line they have in previous games. Well, that starting line will be sponsored by Page Insurance. Centralia, on the other hand, a couple of guys that come to mind. One, Jake Wood. 
seems like he's been here about 10 years. <laughs> yeah. He's played forever here at Centralia for Lee Bennett. He's a guy that, that we expect going in. They're going to pound the ball into him early because Mount Vernon really doesn't have that post present to kind of deal with him on the inside. I think you're exactly right. Jake's a big, strong kid, uh, and you and I had a chance to talk to Coach Gamber right before the game. Uh, he felt like that might be you know, one of the options that they go to, and uh, we've, as you said, we've watched Jake play for quite a few years now, and, and uh, he, he, is, he does a nice job for him. and I, I would be surprised if they don't get him touches early on. Well, Alcorn, Chase Alcorn, Gerard Simmons-Young, and the aforementioned Jake Wood combined to average 40 points a game for the Orphans. You throw that in with the Aaron Owens and Ryan Obermeyer, pretty good outfit for Lee Bennett. We expect a lot of pressure from the Centre Orphan tonight against the Rams. Absolutely. Uh, we think they're going to come out and pressure a little bit. And then, as you mentioned, just on the offensive end, uh, a team like Centralia that has so many guys that can hurt you makes it very difficult defensively. You can't uh, – Jake gets the ball in the post. You know, you can't send two or three guys down to, to dig down on him because they put shooters out around the perimeter. And Mount Vernon, of course, coming to their bench and Trey getting their last few shots up. Lee Bennett and Scott Gammer go at it once again. Battle of chess here tonight to see what happens. You don't know if it's going to be slow down. You don't know if the teams are going to get up and down the floor as they have this season. A lot of intrigue going into this one. What's going to happen for both sides? Absolutely. Just, uh, as we said, a fun atmosphere. And, uh, you know, we've been known to, to slow it down on occasion. But this year we put 60, 70, 80 on the board a few times. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see, as you said, how the styles uh, kind of play out tonight. Both styles will play out here in a few minutes. We'll have the starting lineup sponsored by Page Insurance. After the break, the opening tip and the starting lineup of Rams versus Orphans. As you listen to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. Too expensive to get back into shape? Not anymore. Ren Lake College's new fitness center is only $53 per semester. They've also thought of everything with universal machines, free weights, treadmills with dedicated TV screens, ellipticals, and more. Qualified dance instructors are also available. Or go at your own pace with DVDs that can be used in the exercise room. Best of all, it's open seven days a week. Check out the Ren Lake College Fitness Center in the marketplace off Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Or log on to renlakecollege.edu slash Fit Center. At Vanterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Vanterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC equal housing lender this is chase landers with landers collision centers imagine this you're driving down the road it's dark as can be outside thank goodness you just had that left headlight bulb replaced otherwise you wouldn't be able to see a thing now close your eyes okay don't close your eyes you're supposed to be driving imagine noticing a slight twinkle off to the left just above the ditch what is that you think to yourself all of a sudden whap you've just encountered your first deer hit the left side of your vehicle is beat up pretty bad the next thing I want you to imagine is very simple. Picking up your phone and dialing one landers to set up your repair. Deer claims are common, and usually a very simple process, which fall under comprehensive coverage. This is Chase Landers asking you to allow Landers to be your collision repair shop of choice. Whether it be a deer hit, fender bender, or the regular, uh-oh, sorry mom, Landers is here for you whenever you need us. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. One triple eight Landers. That's one eight 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 Landers. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. By now, you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at two four four three thousand and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland.
beautiful rendition of the National Anthem welcomes you back into the CHS Arena. Here in Centralia, it's Mount Vernon at Centralia. Danny Zawinski and Jared Shane are alongside. And it's time for the Page Insurance starting lineup. I'll turn it over to Coach Shane, and he'll give you the starting lineups for both teams. First, for the visiting Mount Vernon Rams. Rams are going to start this evening's contest at one guard, a sophomore, number four, Braden Fitzgerald. At forward, number 21, a junior, Luke Wilson. Doug Gardner starts at the other guard. He's number 23, a senior. Shakari Hawkins, another senior, number 25. And the Rams round out their lineup with number 32, senior Jake Pike. This evening for the Centralia Orphans, number three, a 5'7 sophomore forward, De'Aaron Owens. Number 10, Ryan Obermeyer. He's a six-foot junior guard. Jared Simmons-Young, number 23, six-foot-one senior guard. Chase Alcorn, 24, six-foot-three senior forward. And finally, as we talked in the pregame show, number 54, Jake Wood. He's a senior, six foot two inch forward for the Orphans. The Orphans, of course, coached by Lee Bennett. Scott Gamber tonight. Mal Vernon, their black uniforms trimmed in orange and white. Centralia, white uniforms trimmed in red. The Orphanage down to our left, ready to go. Chaos K, the students for the Rams have traveled a little bit. They're across the way. This is one of those that you and I talked about halftime. The JV, we didn't know if anybody had a game, knew there was a game. It's going to be hard to find a seat as more people start coming in to all of the exits. Well, you're exactly right. It was a little bit slow going early on, and, and I guess part of that could be we had a very fast JV game this evening. Went by very quickly, so uh, seats were, were a plenty early, but now they're filling up, and uh, the place is starting to get rolling. It's starting to get rolling. The orphans are being introduced. There's about 3,600 seats here in the CHS arena, about 1,700 on bottom, all chair seats, 1,800 on top, bleachers. Except on the home side, there's all chair seats behind us to the left here as we sit at Centralia. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter at WMI Sports. We all have all kinds of lots of people, new followers tonight as well, as we post information from this game, up score updates, and other scores from around Southern Illinois. And a loaded game tonight in the South 7. Carbondale, Cahokia, Marion, and Altoff. Two very interesting games, especially Carbondale, Cahokia, Coach. That's one of those that could be the game of the night in Southern Illinois. It sure could. That would be a fun place to be, just like here. Uh, both those teams have, have been hot and, and played well lately. Um, it, it, I think it's going to be a toss-up. I, it, maybe you give the nod to Cahokia since they're at home, but uh, a toss-up. Carbondale's a good, good basketball club. Rams have met for a final time with Coach Gamber below us. It kind of gets you going, doesn't it, here in this kind of rivalry? Mount Vernon and the Orphans means a little bit more when these two teams get together. Well, it does, and, and uh, you know, this is my third year um, at Mount Vernon, and I learned early on that, um, as I kind of kind of made a joke pregame, that it doesn't really matter what events taking place when you get Mount Vernon versus Centralia. Um, there's a rivalry; people are going to get excited about it. Uh, each town supports their athletics, their kids, their high school, and, and it's really neat to come out to a place like this and be able to call the game and and just be around the excitement. It's not as loud as it's going to be in Seattle Sunday. <laughs> That is your Seahawks are in the in the finals. I want our listeners to know that you told me I could have three Seahawks references. That does not count for no. one because you brought it up. That's right. But yes, yeah. I am a Seahawks there fan, and it's going to be crazy. It'll be Sunday. crazy, won't it? We got Gary Gustafson of Troy, Illinois, Terry Gallagher of Maryville, and Mike Roth of Salem. As we get ready to go, Hawkins will jump center against Alcorn. Ball tipped, controlled by the Orphans. Centralia will bring it up on the opening possession. Young across the timeline. Now top of the key, Owens. Right wing to Overmeyer. Centralia quickly on the dribble handoff on the right wing. Man to man from the Rams. Top of the key, Young has it. Guarded by Gardner, and that's a foul. And I think right away with that call, they're not going to let any shenanigans go on whatsoever in this one. I think that's the case. That was uh, you know, not a hard foul at all by Doug, and it got called. So we'll see if that's the way it's going to be tonight. Lob pass inside, stolen away by Doug Gardner. And the Rams will begin their first possession. Braden Fitzgerald will bring it across the timeline. Orphans are man-to-man defensively here to start this ball game. Ball screen for Fitz. Pick and roll Pike. Now ball tipped and stolen away. Centrea has it coming the other way. Owens on the drive to the rim. Up, no good, too strong. Rebound Luke Wilson. He'll go to Fitzgerald. And it looks to me early. Mount Vernon's going to be the team that slows it down. Fitz walks it up, goes to Pike on the wing, ball screen right side. Now to Wilson, top of the key. 
Right side to Shikari Hawkins, wearing the bright neon shoes tonight. Almost Seahawk colors. Pike with it on the wing, spins at the elbow. Fits for a long three, no good off the mark. Hawkins over the back, breaking the law of verticality, his first team second. Basketball's heating up. Don't get caught without your Rams gear. Check out Winning Edge for a variety of Rams t-shirts, hoodies, caps, bags, and more. Find Winning Edge in Mount Vernon at 212 South 9th Street and on the web at winningedgeusa.com. A little bit of the nerves early on. I was just getting ready to say that. Both teams with a couple early turnovers and feeling each other out a little bit. All right, ring three on the way from Overmeyer. Long off the mark. Offensive rebound, Owens. Left corner, back to the rim and scores. The Aaron Owens gets the Centralia Orphans on top. Two to nothing with 6.38 to go here at Centralia. Fits the Hawk on the right wing. Spins down the lane. Turnaround jumper, good. Nice Sorry, move Hawk. by Shikari. That was pretty. That's one of those you tip your cap, take the H, and you go to the other end for the O, the horse game. Yeah, there's not a lot defensively you can do. Uh, um, that was just a nice turnaround jump shot there. Wood goes left wing, three ball. Young on the way, long off the iron. Hawk on the rebound. Shikari down the middle of the floor. It's three on three. Gardner right corner to Pike, right wing. Centre's defense got back very quickly. Fits between the circles. will reset the offense as he comes to the left side. Now right wing to Shikari. Shikari Hawkins down the lane. That's a travel. Little French curl, as Jeff Lana likes to call it, where you take that ball and curl a little bit around and not dribble it. Yeah, I got under it just a little bit too much there, and uh, I, with this officiating crew, you're not going to get away with that tonight. The WMI Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. That's how we all got to the game. Jeff Crow here as well. Of course, there is a blackout rule here at Centraeus. We're unable to stream the game live on video. Young with the top of the key, right wing to Overmeyer. Holds above his head. Now back out to Young. Three ball top of the key. Front iron. No good. Rebound. Alcorn amongst the traffic. Shot good. Chase Alcorn docks down the shot. Orphans back up by two. And what we expect is a seesaw affair early between these two rivals. Fitz goes right wing to Pike. Hawkins top of the key. Left wing to Wilson. Three on the way corner. Off the mark long. That goes in the hands of Owen. He'll bring it up for the Orphans into the front court to Young. Young with it. Young with it over on the top of the key. Jake Wood has it. Jake Wood in his 10th year. No, we're just kidding. He is a senior now. Baseline move by Young, former Ram scorer. He has two. It's 6-2. Timeout, Scott Gamber, 5.07 to go. Timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop. Proud sponsor of the Rams once again. Dr. Eric Black and staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Coach, this is one of those deals. Both teams are very nervous early, but the Orphans have been the one to be able to get it inside and get to the rim against the Rams. Well, they have. They've got to the rim a couple times, and uh, one stat that, as a former coach, I, I look at consistently is offensive rebounds that lead to second-chance points. Right now, Centralia has six points, four of them off of offensive rebounds and putbacks. It's a nice crowd here on hand tonight. We, we thank our title sponsor of high school sports on WMIX, Community First Bank. That was one good play. Make your own great play when you open a Community First Bank free high-yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one member of FDIC. You can go to facebook.com slash Sports. Give us a like there. New content will be going up there throughout the night. That's also the home for the WMI Sports social media question of the week. You've had experience with that a few times. I have. I enjoy it. That's uh, one of my favorite things on Saturday mornings. You guys come up with some great questions, and uh, it's a nice way to keep it lighthearted sometimes after a tough loss or after a big, exciting victory for coaches, and, and I think lots of us look forward to it. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Mount Vernon trails here at Centralia 62. Dylan Reeves have checked in for Doug Gardner and Scott Gamber's line. A pike off a ball screen right wing. Pick and roll. Reeves going away. Fall to the floor. Wilson has it in the lane. Bodies everywhere. Now turn over to the Orphans. Owens down the middle. Comes to the middle of the floor. Right wing over. Meyer baseline around Pike. Goes up amongst the trees and scores. Yeah. Try his dribble penetration. Hurting Mount Vernon right now. Yes, it is. They're, they're clearing rebounds or steals. Getting the ball down the court. And, and as you said, getting to the rim. Fits to the left side on the dribble. Against Wood. Double dribble. Got away with it. Goes to the rim. And shot was good, but it was foul was on the floor. That was on number 23, Gerard Simmons Young, his first team, first four, Centray. Any scores we get tonight were brought to you by Tony Wilt. He's glad to help your family with all your insurance needs. Give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around Mount Vernon. Fitz with the ball at the inbound to the middle of the circle. 4.27 to go in the first. Mount Vernon leads eight to two, or trails eight to two. As Fitz dribbles. Mount Vernon electing to slow the pace down early so far. Fitz with it on the wing. Now goes to the right wing as Centralia content with not a lot of pressure. 
Now they post Hawkins up. He's double teamed to Pike. Now the fifth on the right wing. Back to Pike, top of the key, three block. Rebound to the floor. Wilson has it, lost it, has it. Down to the floor he goes, throws it away. Overmeyer has it, Fitz steals it back. Now to Wilson on the block. Around Wood, shot block, jump ball. And it'll go to Mount Vernon, and what a play defensively. as Both teams getting it on defensively all over the floor. Yeah, they're getting after each other right now, and a little exchange there, a turnover for each team, a steal, and it uh, would have been nice for Luke to be able to convert that layup. But got the jump ball call. Man, these two are going at it as expected. Wilson throws it in and so throws it away. Overmeyer on the steal for the Orphans. Down the lane he comes, splits defenders. Now here comes Owens to the basket, kicks it out right wing. Jake Wood, three ball on the way. No good off the mark. Good thing it didn't go in. The roof would have went off here. 8-2. Hawkins with it into the front court, right wing. Orphans man-to-man. It's a laid-back man-to-man. They're all inside the three-point line. Fitz with it, top of the key, left wing to Wilson. Wilson, two dribbles to the right top, and now goes top of the key to Hawkins. Hawkins guarded by Young. Hawkins right wing to Jake Pike. Three ball on the way up. No good. Rebound tipped around the lane. All white shirts. Here come the Orphans and a foul. Dylan Reeves picks up his first team third. Yeah, Dylan got caught reaching in a little bit there. Centre had cleared the off, or excuse me, the defensive rebound, and Dylan got an arm. I'll remind you of Community First Bank. Always bank on your hometown team. Community First Bank, home of the one account. Featuring free checking high yield interest member FDIC. Centralia leads 8 to 2, 3 12 to go in the first. Down the lane, Darren Owens. Theron with it, now leaves it off for Young. Young on the dribble, back to Owens. Owens with it, now back to Young as they play a two ball game out front. Owens goes left wing from Young, now to Overmeyer, now back to Owens, top of the key on the dribble, handoff, the curl, shot off the iron. Wood can't get to it as Reeves with a box out to Fitzgerald. Fits to Hawk on the left wing. Hawkins looks over. Goes left baseline. Cut off. Now back out to the corner. Hawkins goes to Fitzgerald. Scott Gamber calls out another play. Sleeves are rolled up already to the elbow. Didn't like something. And Hawk Fitz has to shoot a three. Long off the mark. Hawkins with the rebound right side. Mount Vernon with another chance. Spin down the lane. Hawk to the rim and travel with the basketball. That moves good, but not in this association. Yeah, you hit one too, one too many steps in there for Shikari and needed to put another dribble down. Don't forget, Saturday Sports Show tomorrow at AM 940, also online at WMIsports.com from 8.08 to 10 a.m. It's midwinter basketball. We're talking people have won tournaments, people are getting ready playing tournaments. We're talking coaches that are playing in tournament title games. That's tomorrow on the Saturday Sports Show. Orphans have the basketball. Wood top of the key, one dribble to the right wing. Dribble handoff to Alcorn, now left wing to Owens. Back to Alcorn at the right elbow. On the dribble to Wood. Wood, couple dribbles, corner Overmeyer. He'll come back to the top of the key. Hands off to Owens, now to Wood. Had a three, didn't take it. Gets around Reeves to the right corner. Owens on the right wing. Mount Vernon man to man. Two to go in the first. Mount Vernon trails 8-2. Owens and Wood play a two-man game on this side. Owens in the right corner. Now to Overmeyer. Alcorn inside Wood. Post-up shot. Rolls off the iron. Drops off. Fitz finds the rebound. All black jerseys underneath for the Rams rebounding that time as Fitz brings it into the front court. Fitz on the dribble. Man-to-man from the Orphans as Mount Vernon trails 8-2. to two. On the dribble, Hawk top of the key. Hands off to Gilwan Nelson. Back to Fitz. Fitz to Nelson, right wing travel the basketball. Good call by the official. Gerard simmons Jungle will check back in for the Orphans. Checking out will be Wood. Wilson and Gardner in for the Rams. Nelson out. And who else? Reeves. And this is one of those. Mount Vernon needs to survive the first wave early from Centralia. Well, I think that's the case. So we're playing with some nerves right now offensively. Haven't gotten in sync. Need to get a few stops on defense. And, and uh, things will calm down a little bit for them. Top of the key. Owens has it. Now to Young. Now over to Overmar. we got an illegal screen. That will be on number three, De'Aaron Owens. His first team second. Little illegal screen underneath. And we look also at the Ford Square King City Chrysler Mobile Studios. That's how WMX Sports get, got here tonight in Australia. Also, if you're tired of big corporate bank, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank's at home in Dick's Island, Woodlawn, and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 1.15 to go in the first. Mount Vernon trails 8-2. to two. Pike has it on the wing from a ball screen to Hawkins. Now back to Shake on the right wing. Thought about it. Now he'll shoot it up and in. Sorry, Hawkins from downtown has all five Mount Vernon points. It's eight five Orphans with a minute to go. Young across the timeline. That'll help get some confidence going for Mount Vernon. 
Left wing Obermeyer. Now to Alcorn. Back to Obermeyer in the left corner. That's Rogers. Inside underneath, they go to Alcorn up and good. That's been key to Centre all night so far. Inside points only for the Orphans. Yeah, everything's in the paint right now, and Mount Vernon's got to do a little better job of digging down and, and being tough and physical in the lane. 10-5, Orphans on top in the five-and-dime game so far. Fits with it, top of the key. On the dribble between the legs. He goes left side, that's to Wilson, back to Fitz, to Hawk with 26 seconds. Hawk has it on the dribble, he says we need to reset some offense here. Hawk with it near the timeline. He looks, 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 says I can't find anybody. Now to Gardner on the left wing. Gardner with it. Holds to Fitz with 10 seconds. Fitz has it on the Orphans logo. What will happen here the Orphans? Three from Gardner in the corner, rattles out. Goes to the floor with three, with two. Here comes Bill Berry down the lane. Three-pointer at the horn will be short. Eight minutes into book here at Centray. Orphans 10, Rams 5. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Renly College's Adult Volunteer Literacy Program is looking for volunteers to help stop adult illiteracy. Give the gift of reading and be a hero forever. Renly College will provide you with training and materials to help adults develop the basic reading ability needed to excel. You can work one-on-one, tutor a small group, or work with students in an adult education classroom. Experience the joy of helping others and change a life. Call Renly College's Volunteer Partnership toll-free at 800-369-5321, extension 1342. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Rams. Powered by Community First Bank. End of one quarter here at Centre. It's Centre 10, Mount Vernon 5. Denny Zwinski and Jared Chainer alongside and coach. This is one of those where Mount Vernon a little nervous early. May have finally gotten back in rhythm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just a shaky start offensively. Couldn't get a lot going. Uh, a lot of guys maybe trying to do a little, push a little bit too much and Hopefully Coach Camber's got them settled down here. Centray with a basketball. Jake Wood in the lane. Shot fake three times up. Rolls off the iron. Tips around. Rebound Jake Pike. Clayton Reeves made a stop by. Said, my gosh, they let anybody with a headset tonight. <laughs> Don't know if that was for you or me, but he, he has made his appearance. And he's got his shout out, shout out on the radio. Here comes Fitz to the rim. Got it stripped. And it went off of Fitz. Yep, that's the right call. You can see it from our vantage point high above CHS Arena. He got stripped and it went off his left leg. Mount Centralia will keep the basketball. Your community, your choice, your bank with five locations and friends and neighbors on staff will understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking member FDIC. Centralia with a basketball. Wood with it near the top of the key. On the left side. In the left corner is Bill Berry. Bill Berry inside. Pass stolen away. Fitz has it. Travels the baseline and then an awful foul. Chase Alcorn fouls Fitzgerald. He's standing under the orphan's basket. 88 and a half feet away from the ba- their basket. Yeah, that'll drive a coach crazy, and I can see Coach Bennett down there. He's pretty frustrated with Chase right now. Not a good foul. Not a good foul at all. As I'm trying to multitask here, this is a this is a possibility that may or may not be successful. Now <laughs> Fitz walks it up. We have several scores. We'll go those over the next free throw. Fitz down the lane off a runner. Glass too strong. Rebound goes to Obermeyer. He'll bring it up across the timeline for the Orphans. Coast to coast, he's going to the rim. Shot fake for Shikari. Got away with the travel. Now gets it inside to Young. Down the lane, good. Mount Vernon got caught watching, and the Orphans lead 12-5 here in the second quarter. All five Mount Vernon points from Shikari Hawkins. Fits with it between the circles. Right wing pass to Pike. Mount Centre is still playing man-to-man. To Fitz at the volleyball line. Centre at Mount Vernon looks a little out of sorts here early on offensively. Hawkins with it, top of the key. Comes down the lane, kick pass for left wing, Wilson. Now to Pike as Mount Vernon surveys the perimeter with her passing. Six and a half to go in the first half. Mount Vernon trails 12-5. Hawkins behind the three-point line to fit. Fits with it, top of the key. Dribble drive now to Pike. Down the lane, 15-footer from the left elbow is no good but a foul. That'll be on Young, his second, team's fourth. And Pike will go to line to shoot two and maybe 
some other Ram will get on the board here offensively. Well, let's hope so, and that's a big foul. That's Simmons Young second. We're just not quite two minutes into the second quarter, so it looks like Coach is talking to him right now. Possibly going to get him out, and, uh, you know, he's definitely a threat on the offensive end. He is going to come have a seat. Pike misses that one. Hey, we've got scores into one. ZR over Seth for Valera, 14-11. Fairfield over Carmike, 12-7. Collinsville over Beast, or B-West. 18-9, Waterloo over Jersey, 15-11, and at the half, Wayne City leads Clay City, 21-20. Pike gets a second, 12-6. That scoreboard update sponsored by Tony Wilt. He's glad to help your family with all your insurance needs. Give his office a call or find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. Left wing for Centre is Obermeyer, out top of the key to Billberry. Over on the right wing to Alcorn, top uh, Wood, and that's an offensive foul. Another legal screen by Bill, Bill Berry. Seems when they set that down screen at the elbows right now, they can't get stationary, and that's two fouls on Centre for doing that. You're exactly right. Those are the exact same fouls. Different kid, obviously, but uh, they're trying to get Jake Wood or somebody else open at the top of the key just off the wing for an open three, and uh, you've got to be set when and this officiating crew, like I said earlier, they're good enough. They're not going to let the kids get away with that. Oh, Rams with a basketball. Fits to the left, right wing. Shot from Shikari from the three is good. Shikari has eight points of Mount Vernon's nine. It's 12-9 as Mount Vernon looks to come back. That's some of the best offense we've ran, a, a dribble penetration and kick. That's exactly what you want to get from your from your guard. Wood's going to try the answer. Good. And he does. Man, Jake Wood. We kidded. He's been around for a long time, but he just knocked down a three to make it 15-9. to nine. Centralia up on by six. Fitz with it on the right wing, pick and roll with Hawkins on the right side. He is deep in the right corner at this point. Hawkins with it, back to Fitz. Fitz will look as he looks over there, nothing doing there. Three on the way from Nelson, long off the mark. Hawk can't get the rebound, Alcorn with it for Centralia. Across the timeline. Centralia looking to go up by some more here. Across the top, three on the way, Wood. Short front of the iron, hits the floor, rattles around, Plinko style. Here comes Pike to Gardner. Gardner's going the other way. Up on the rim. Shot good and a foul. Doug Gardner goes to the rim and scores, and maybe that will give Mount Vernon some momentum here as they play along. Well, let's hope so. That was a nice, strong move by Doug. Um, All started with Jake Pike getting on the floor. You and I talked about Jake before we got on the air tonight, but uh, what a great kid. Just a hard worker, a competitor, and those are the things that don't get put in in the stat book, but uh, Jake started that by diving on the floor and and coming up with that loose ball. 15-11, Mount Vernon trails by four. Doug Gardner at the line to try to complete the three-point play. First shot is up, or the only shot, and it's good. He has three points, 15-12. With five Jefferson County branches and responsive quality service for all your accounts, Community First Bank would like, be like, would like to be the first to say, welcome back to personal banking. 15-12, Centre on top by three. 4.45 to go in the first half, and a quick-played ball game so far. Owens with it down the lane, jump stop at the block, shot, no good, rattles out, fits on the rebound. Braden will bring it into the front court over the Centralia defense. It's man-to-man has been the entire game. As they survey, Nelson goes to the right side. Nelson the fifth down the lane, he comes, saw an opening and scored. Got knocked to the ground, no call. They'll play on, it's 15-14, Rams battle back. A tougher Mount Vernon team than I. Top of the key, Alcorn has it. Side angling, looked for Wood, couldn't get it to him to Billberry. In the right corner now to Obermeyer off a ball screen with Wood. Obermeyer goes left corner, Billberry. He'll hold off the one dribble. Now gets it back from Owens to Billberry. Two dribbles to the left wing, found nobody. Now goes to Owens. Owens with it in the corner, Obermeyer, guarded by Nelson in the right corner. Now top of the tree, Owens. Leaves it behind for Billberry. Long three on the way, front of the iron, short. Owens with a rebound. Ran ran into Obermeyer, and Obermeyer saved it out to Wood near the timeline. Centralia with another chance. Alcorn left wing to Billberry. Billberry inside underneath. Wood shot good in the foul. That was easy. You and I talked about in the pregame. Jake Wood could be a monster underneath for Mount Vernon tonight that I try to handle. Yeah, just a big wide body. Uses it really well. And, again, that that was all set up by an offensive rebound. I, I was about to say in that that first possession there, some of the best defense that we had played all evening made them take 10, 12, 15 passes and then couldn't track down a rebound gave it back to him and now chance for a three point play. You bring up that point as Wood knocks down a three point play, he has six I thought Mount Vernon was doing a good job playing defense but not overplaying the passing lane they allow the backdoor cut however Mount Vernon down four with 3.28 to go, fits at the top of the key holds up five fingers, 
I guess it would be four fingers and a thumb as Fitz on the right side on the dribble. Fitz with it between the circles. Comes off a of Gilwan Nelson ball screen top of the key to Pike in the left corner. Gets around Wood, goes to the rim and scores. Woo! Jake nice, Pike. Nice left. move by Jake Pike. Jake Wood's picking up his shoes in the left corner right now. He has them as he goes down to the other end. Owens will bring it across the timeline. It's a two-point lead for the Orphans. In the corner is Rogers off a of Wood ball screen. A lot of muscle in that area as Woods goes down the lane. And Rogers got a reach-in foul. Ooh, man. Looks like it's going to be on Gilwan. That'll be his first. And the fifth on Mount Vernon. Stay tuned for the Second Chance Auto Halftime Show. Up scoring and stats. Second Chance Auto and Mount Vernon has a vehicle to beat your needs and your budget. There's a reason they've been around for 33 years. They offer the largest collection in one location. No fancy sales gimmicks. No pressure. Just on a seal. That's the halftime show sponsored by Second Chance Auto. Wood on the post. Oh. oh, there we go. Wood was on the post on the inbound. Dylan, he had it up in the air over top of his head, and Dylan Reeves reached over to try to get the ball and got called for a touch foul. And they are not going to let these two teams go at it. They're going to keep this game under control. That's exactly right, and, and I've said it several times. But experienced fishing crew, and that's what they've got to do tonight. I, that one was maybe a, a little too picky. That was actually on Doug. That's going to be his second. Um, as you said, team six. And, man, this is a tough job as Gardner's got two. Hawk has, has two. So Mount Vernon, a little foul trouble. 2.43 to go in the first half. Top of the key with it is Owens. In the corner to Wood. Good. He has nine points in the quarter and two three. Call this guy on the floor. It's 21-16. Zentralia by five. Rams with a basketball. Up across the timeline. That's Fitz to Wood. I should say Fitz trying to keep it away from Wood. Gets it from Pike back to Fitz. Fitz with it on that side. Inside pass tipped and stolen away. Don't know where anybody was going on that one. And that's the first time we've seen a little run and jump there. As Young kicks it back out. Alcorn three up no good. Reeves had it, lost it. Obermeyer gets it back. Shot glass too strong. Rebound Young. Young in the paint traveled. Thank you very much. Unbeknownst to the Mount, the uh, Centralia fans, I called it for them before they knew it. That was a good play there by Mount Vernon. Of course, the turnover, make your own great play when you open a community first bank, free high-yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one member FDIC. The battle of one and two and three, A. Landfair leads Lincoln 21 to 10, 20 at the half. That's one up in your old stomping ground. It is. I was at Lincoln for uh, seven years, coached on the basketball staff there, and should should be an exciting game there this evening at Lanfear. Nelson across the timeline. They even shut the doors up there at one point, try to keep people out. They were tired. They didn't have any room. Across the timeline, Pike has it at the top of the key. Down the lane, left-handed shot, no good. Another layup missed for Mount Vernon. That hurts. And here comes Centralia with the top of the key. Bill Berry in the corner. That's to Owens, left side. He'll come back to the top of the key. Looking at the top of the key, I go in the right corner below us to Bill Berry. Bill Berry up to Owens. Owens looks on the left wing to Obermeyer. Obermeyer has it. Will dribble handoff to Bill Berry on the right wing. With it on the right side is Owens. Owens has it. Now at the top of the key to Rogers with 112 to go. We have a whistle away from the ball. A whistle away from the basketball. Looks like it's on Mount Vernon. And it's on Gilwan Nelson, his second. Seventh on Mount Vernon. And coach, that's Nelson, Gardner, and Hawkins all with 2,000 feet. Yeah, not a good situation. Uh, fortunately, there's 110 left in the half, so hopefully we can get out of it without anybody getting that third. That's what we got to have. Second, first free throw was good from Rogers. He'll get another. And it's now 22-16 with 110 to go. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We got all kinds of information being put on there. Second free throw was no good. Dylan Reeve skied for the rebound. And while across the timeline comes Fitz. Fitz with it. Over on the right side. <laughs> with it on the between the dribble. And between the circles on the dribble is Nelson to Pike. 53 seconds to go. Pike goes right side to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald will hold near the timeline as we have 47 seconds left in the first half. Will Mount Vernon go for the final shot of the half? Mount Vernon trailing 22-16. We shall see. Pike with it between the circles. Goes right side to Fitz with 30 seconds. Fitz has it. Tells everybody clear out. Fitz goes to the rim. Fitz going to get a layup. Miss. Rebound goes to the orphan. 
Philberry with the bow rebound and gives it to Owens. Not sure that was a shot Scott Gamber wanted with 25 seconds to go and a half. Ran a lot of clock down, and, uh, yeah, it's, you know, you miss the layup, and, and it's a bad shot. If you make it, you know, maybe it's not a bad shot. We'll see how, see how it works out with the last 10 seconds here. Mount Vernon has the arrow to start the half. Overmeyer on the left side, shot fake three Rams, and then Fitz will get called, I believe, for the foul. And we'll see who it is. There were three choices there. We'll see if it's A, B, or C, and I was wrong. And that's on Gilwan Nelson, his third, and that's the eighth foul. And that was one of those you said that couldn't happen, and it did. Yeah, that's exactly right. Obermeyer made a nice ball fake, shot fake, excuse me, drove to the rim, and Gilwan got caught there. 23-16. Mount Vernon trails by seven, 24-16. Obermeyer makes both. He has four. And Mount Vernon right now, that quick possession down there may have cost him a, and in fact, it did cost him a couple points. Centralia were pressure. Fitz got away the travel. Gets up between two defenders. Gets a shot off at the horn. It goes. They count it. Fitz got it across the timeline. Fun at the three-point line. Threw it up one-handed. It goes down. And Mount Vernon makes up for it and pulls to within five at the half. Centralia 24. Mount Vernon 19 at the half. We'll take a break. Come back with a second chance auto. Halftime show. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball in the showcase on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer. Member FDIC. America is a nation on wheels. Everyone has at least one automobile. We use them for shopping, work, everything we do. But they can be a threat. Some accidents can't be prevented. Your professional Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon, can help protect you from a large financial loss when an accident happens. Call Page Insurance today at 242-7000 about low-cost auto insurance from Pekin Insurance. Ask them about the many money-saving discounts that are available. Depend on your hometown professionals. Pekin Insurance. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. Imagine this. You're driving down the road. It's dark as can be outside. Thank goodness you just had that left headlight bulb replaced. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see a thing. Now, close your eyes. Okay, don't close your eyes. You're supposed to be driving. Imagine noticing a slight twinkle off to the left, just above the ditch. What is that, you think to yourself? All of a sudden, whap! You've just encountered your first deer hit. The left side of your vehicle is beat up pretty bad. The next thing I want you to imagine is very simple. Picking up your phone and dialing 1-888-LANDERS to set up your repair. Deer claims are common, and usually a very simple process which fall under comprehensive coverage. This is Chase Landers asking you to allow Landers to be your collision repair shop of choice. Whether it be a deer hit, fender bender, or the regular uh uh-oh, sorry mom, Landers is here for you whenever you need us. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. Your spine is a miracle of engineering. So when pain strikes, your body is telling you to get help fast. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois is proud to feature their spine care team. Doctors Kowalski and Smith, the professionals at Orthopedic Center, specialize in back and neck pain. So put our spine care team on the job. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Stop the pain. Fix the problem and enjoy life again. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. There's a good reason why Second Chance Auto has been in business for 33 years. They believe in doing business the right way with honest deals. It's the only way they know. And thanks to Second Chance Auto, you don't have to head out of town to get financing. They offer bank rate financing to everyone. Yes, everyone. You'll find a great selection of quality vehicles with three-month or 3,000-mile warranties. Come see why they've been successful for 33 years at Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Second Chance Auto Halftime Show starts now. Halftime at the CHS Arena in Centralia. It's the Orphans 24, the Mount Vernon Rams 19. As we welcome you back to the Second Chance Auto Halftime Show, Second Chance Auto in Mount Vernon has a vehicle to beat your needs and your budget. There's a reason Second Chance Auto has been around 
for 33 years. They offer the latest selection in one location. No fancy sales gimmicks, no pressure. Just honest deals on great vehicles with bank rate financing at Second Chance Auto. Rams Trail 24-19. We'll take a break. Come back for the scoring and stats. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball on WMIX. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make us stand out from the crowd. Independents uh, like the medicine shop offer home delivery. People find that so convenient. And not just seniors, uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evenings is just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition, absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you, and we'll take care of the rest. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts, and many other 90-day plans. The Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Halftime at Centralia brought to you by Second Chance Auto. Audit Mount Vernon has a vehicle to meet your needs and your budget. There's a reason Second Chance Auto has been around for 33 years. They offer the largest selection in one location. No sales gimmicks, pressure, just honest steals on great vehicles with bank rate financing available. Denny Zwinski and Jared Shainer alongside 24-19. Centralia leads Mount Vernon at the half. I'll turn it over to Coach Shainer. He can give you the scoring and stats of this first half. Absolutely, Danny. As you said, 24-19, the home team leads here tonight. Uh, scoring for the home team, Owens with two, Obermeyer with four, Simmons Young with four, Alcorn with four, Jeff Rogers chipped in one, and Jake Wood leads Centralia with nine. For your Mount Vernon Rams, first half scoring, Fitzgerald's with five, Doug Gardner with three, Shikari Hawkins leads the Ram with eight, and Jake Pike with three. Had them pretty even on the rebound matchup tonight. Centralia 11 first half rebounds, Mount Vernon 10, and Centralia definitely ahead in the turnover category. They only have four to Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon 10. Got it. That's it. Good. I, good. I was paying We're attention. Good. I was lost. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm good. Any more? Any more? Okay, I think that's you're good. it. You're good. We've got some scores to cover up. I was waiting to make sure not to step over the top of you. Some scores around Southern Illinois, uh, all kinds. In the South Seven, at the end of one, Kokia leads Carbondale 20 to 14, and Altoff out early on Marion 26 to 11 and a half. Pinckneyville trails Carterville 35 20. Nashville leads Ducoin. 19-17. Also, Murphy over Benton, 32-15 at the half. Harrisburg over Heron at the end of one, 14-6. Johnson City over Hamco, 15-13 into one. Cesar Valera over ZR to half, 29-28. Fairfield over Carmi, 29-12 at the half. Collinsville over Belleville West, 26-19 at the half. Waterloo over Jersey, 27-20 at the half. Wayne City over Clay City, 21-20 at the half. Mount Carmel over Boonville, 40-23 at the half. Highland over Mascuta, 33-28 at the half. Edwardsville over Alton, 19-8 at the end of one. And Effingham leads Salem, 8-5 at the end of one. That scoreboard update brought to you by Tony Wilton, State Farm Insurance. He's glad to help your family with all your insurance needs. Give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWilton.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. We need to take one more break. We'll come back with a second half. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. Mid-size, full-size, we have every size vehicle to suit your automotive needs without draining your bank account. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler dealer at King City Chrysler Center, Mount Vernon. Chrysler has it all with the savings you deserve. The award-winning Chrysler 300 is without question one of the most innovative and luxurious full-size cars on the road today. If you need a little less size but do not want to sacrifice luxury, I recommend the Chrysler 200 Limited. You still have the luxury feel and sleek design with the fuel mileage that keeps you away from the pump. Both models boast a $4,000 rebate. Now that's savings you cannot pass up. See how you can live the life of luxury and talk to one of our sales associates at King City Chrysler Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois 
And don't forget, you can view all of our inventory online at kingcitychryslercenter.com. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by King City Chrysler, this is Mount Vernon Rams Basketball. Community First Bank is our title sponsor for high school sports on WMIX. Always bank on your hometown team. Community First Bank, home of the one account, featuring free checking and high-yield interest. Member FDIC. Halftime here at Centralia. Mount Vernon trails the Orphans 24-19. Denny's or Whiskey, Jared Chainer alongside. And Coach, 24-19, down five to half. Mount Vernon survived many a thing that Centralia did well, plus foul trouble. Got a break with Fitz making a three at the horn. You're down five on the road, but you still got to feel pretty good considering where you could have been. Well, I think so. It got off to a slow start tonight offensively, very sluggish early on. I think guys were pressing a little bit too much. Kind of got in a rhythm there, end of the first, uh, beginning of the second, throughout midway through the second. Um, made a few nice defensive stops. Probably need to do a little bit better job, as I mentioned in that first half. Uh, gave up four offensive rebounds, three of them. Uh, Centralia transitioned into points. Um, so I think we need to do a better job with that. But overall, I, I don't think Coach Gamber's in a bad spot down five. You come out, and I think um, for my coaching days, the goal right here is to have it within a possession at the end of the fourth. Or, excuse me, <laughs> not you the end of the fourth. Wait. You don't want to be a, a possession at the end of the fourth. <laughs> no handoffs either. You know, handoffs, no handoffs, no option. No. Okay. At the end of the third, you want to be within one possession. Give yourself a chance in the fourth. That's what I meant That's to say. Okay, we got you. Yeah, we know you're nervous. Yeah, Seahawks, 49ers, right. Sunday late Coming game, up, you're getting hours. nervy. Yeah. It's understandable. <laughs> Basketball's <laughs> heating up. Don't get caught without your Rams gear. Check out Winning Edge for a variety of Rams t-shirts, hoodies, caps, bags, and more. Find Winning Edge in Mount Vernon at 212 South 9th Street or on the web at winningedgeusa.com. I'm looking forward. I hope at Rant, it would be great if it's Seahawks-Patriots to be Coach Shaner versus Coach Camber for two weeks. Let's do it. Rams with a basketball start to half. Hawkins with it on the right wing below us. Hawkins with it, goes back to the right, comes to the left, down the lane, floating one-hander, drop. Shikari Hawkins has 10 points for the Rams, and they're only down three, 24-21. I hope that's a sign of things to come. we got a friendly bounce there. Owens across the timeline, right side over Meyer. Ball screen at the top of the key. Rup, nobody's catching that but the band, and the band's not home. They left. Turnover, Centre, 24-21. Saturday sports show tomorrow morning. On AM 940 online at WMikeSports.com from 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's Midwinter Basketball Tournament Talk. Both boys and girls we will discuss tomorrow from 8.08 to 10 a.m. on the Saturday Sports Show. Hawkins with it, top of the key, left wing Luke Wilson. Wilson a couple of dribbles. Orphans more than a man, but they're a slumping man right now. It looks like a zone, but they are sagging back below that three-point line. Hawk from 17, no good. Gardner on the rebound amongst the trees. Shot blocked from behind. Rebound goes to Alcorn. Alcorn, he's played here 12 years, it seems like, as he comes to the right wing. That goes to Young. Out to dribble. Left wing to Obermeyer. Top of the key, Wood. Wood, one dribble. Dribble handoff to Owens on the right wing. Top of the key, Obermeyer. Now to Owens. Owens at the right elbow. Picks it up to Obermeyer to Alcorn in the corner. I got Wood posted up. Double team, triple team. Gets between people. Fouled. Had to be a hip check. That's a two-minute minor on Luke Wilson. That'll be his first team first. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We continue to put stuff on there all night long, keeping you updated with scores. And Centralia leads here 24-21. Inside pass Wood up and in. Caught Mount Vernon sleeping. He has 11. Yeah, Jake, nice move there inside. And Luke gives up, you know, quite a bit of size, quite a bit of weight. I think Luke's going to be sore tomorrow. Across the timeline, fits with the basketball. You can also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. Pike with a pick and roll with Gardner. Shot blocked from behind by Obermeyer. Gardner in amongst the trees that time. Shakes his head like, yeah, I probably didn't need to be in there. But he tried it anyway. It was swatted out of bounds. Now Vernon will have the possession. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home in Dick Sina, Woodlawn, and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Gardner with a basketball. Baseline out of bounds. Throws it in the Hawk on the right wing. Now to Fitz, kind of off-center from the top of the key. Fitz goes to Hawk on the right wing. Thought about the three, couldn't get it done. Fitz now gives it to Pike. Pike with it to the corner to Wilson. Wilson bottled up as he comes to the left, left wing, top of the key to Hawk. Mount Vernon's offense keeps getting pushed further and further towards the timeline. Fitz with it on the right wing, scoot back kind of far. And he goes top of the key to Pike, who's left open. Mistakes in Trey, missed the three, rebound Alcorn. 
Centrea goes the other way. Right corner is Overmeyer. Overmeyer left side to Owens. Inside Wood on alone up and in. And we talked about Jake Wood, Coach. He was the X factor. We didn't know if Mount Vernon had anybody to neutralize him. Well, and so far in the third we haven't. That's two easy looks for Jake, and he's got four points right off, right off the get-go. Mount Vernon with a basketball on this end of the floor, which would be the north end. Gardner has it. Pike for a three on the way. Off the mark. Rebound goes to Overmeyer. Has it tipped and stolen away by Gardner. Gardner leads it for fifth now to shake top of the key. Hawkins, one dribble. Left wing to Wilson. Now to Pike. Pike has it to fifth. Coach Gamber calls a play below us. Mount Vernon will start their offense. Fitz with it on the ball dribble drive. Comes to the left side. Now looking off people. Coach Gamber not happy with something. He sits back down. Pike goes left, right wing to Hawkins. We got a foul going the other way. It's on Pike. Had a little clear out action underneath his first team second of the half. And now Vernon can't get past themselves besides the one basket by Hawkins. Offensively struggling here. Credit to the orphan defense. Absolutely. And, and it's very similar to the way we started the game. It's just a little bit out of sync. Uh, not real good spacing at times, and, and struggling to get things going offensively. We need somebody to give us a spark. A veteran crew on this game have done a very good job of officiating, keeping his rivalry in check. Owens goes down the lane off the glass and good. He has four. He just went coast to coast for the Orphans. It's a nine-point lead for the Orphans. Fitz with a basketball, ball screen, Hawkins. Fitz comes down the lane, running shot block amongst the trees. Jake Wood has the rebound. For the Orphans, he gives to Owens. He'll bring it across the timeline to Obermeyer on the left side. To Owens on the right wing, to Alcorn, to Obermeyer. Top of the key to Wood, right elbow extended. Left elbow extended, Young has it. Couple of dribbles to the right, now back to Obermeyer. Three on the way, no good, rattled in and out. That was in the cup and came back out. Fitz lost it, now Nelson will bring it across the timeline. Fitz found a bad spot on this floor. Ball bounced around, kind of funny. Fits in the corner. Jake Pike for a three up and good. Jake Pike with a three from the corner. Timeout, Scott Gamber. And that was a huge three. This timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop. Dr. Eric Black at 2339 Broadway. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy is proud to sponsor the Rams once again. Dr. Eric Black and staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. And this, that was a big three, and I think Coach Gamber called that timeout. Get things in check defensively down here because Centre is tearing up the paint again. That's exactly what it was. It had nothing to do, obviously, with, uh, with the offensive end there. Jake finally connected on one. He had missed a couple early on, but it's what good, good basketball players do. They continue to have confidence and shoot the ball. And Nice drive by Braden, I believe it was. Found Jake open in the corner. And, and I think that's what Coach Gamber is doing right now is talking about, hey, let's get ourselves settled down on the defensive end, uh, get in position, Start getting some stops, win it on that end. The offensive will click eventually. All kinds of scores coming up. We'll get them to you in just a second when we have time. And there are a ton. Coach Shaner's looking over my notebook in amazement of what I've been able to come up with multitasking here. But we'll get Uh, scores for the people listening. There are multiple colors, rows, columns, lines. You got it figured out how I do this? Almost like that now, movie, The Beautiful Mind. You know what? I'm going to do this to you, too. I'm going to see if you know what I do when I box it here. What do you think that means? Oh, goodness. That's final score. Final score. Yep. One final in. Four minutes to go in the third. Centre leads 30-24, to 24, and they have the basketball. Overmeyer on the right wing, top of the key. Left wing to Young. His three on the way. Short in front of the iron. Nobody got the rebound, but Alcorn. Too much standing around by the black jerseys. Right wing pass to Owens. Now... Top of the key to Young for the Orphans. Back to Owens on the right side. Owens will dribble to the top of the key, leave it for Alcorn. Alcorn will go left on Wilson. He's going to get to the rim. He's going to score. Alcorn bigger, longer, and taller on that dribble. He's 30, and he makes it 32-24 Orphans. Well, you're right. Luke had pretty good position on him. Chase just kind of put his shoulder down, got himself to the rim, and it's pretty easy. Nothing anybody could do there. That's just a case of somebody being stronger than the other team. Right wing, Shikari has it for the Rams. Hawkins with it on the dribble. The Rams' offense kind of stuttering and sputtering here because of this great defense by Centralia. Fitz is pushed back near the timeline. That's where they're going to have to take care of business. In the left corner, that is Pike. Pike has it top of the key, Luke Wilson. To Fitz at the top of the key. Centralia's defense stifling right now. Fitz in the lane, shot block, rebound. Hawk put up and in. Second chance points for Mount Vernon, 32-26. 
Yeah, nice by Sh- nice job by Shikari being active on the offensive glass. Wood with it, top of the key, three, good. Golly, he comes off that curl screen at the elbow, pops out top of the key, catch and shoot, knocks another one down. That's his third three of the night. Ford Square, King City Chrysler, sponsors the WMI Sports Mobile Studios. As Jake Pike gets mobile down the lane, cut off to Wilson, top of the key. Three on the way, Luke Good. Luke Wilson knocks one down, his first point, 35-29. Mount Vernon back to within six. Big three by Luke, we just can't trade him baskets. Can't trade right now as Overmeyer gets a ball screen from Wood, now it goes left to Alcorn. In the corner, that's to Owen. Guarded by Fitz, gets a ball screen, comes to the right, now back to the corner to Wood. Wood on the dribble, couldn't get a shot off. He was looking again. Overmeyer to Owens in the left corner. Owens skipped past right wing to Alcorn. Top of the key, Young. Down the lane, kick it left corner. Three ball, Owens on the way in front of the orphanage. Good. You can hear the orphanage. He knocked it down in front of his friends, and it's 38-29. Centralia back by nine with a buck 40 left in the third. Fits across the timeline. To the left side to Wilson. Wilson loses it. Owens picks his pocket. Owens dribbles, gets it. Calls timeout before he goes out of bounds. What a play by by Owens. Getting ready to slide. He's had the wherewithal to call the timeout. It's timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop in Mount Vernon at 2339 Broadway. Dr. Eric Black is proud to sponsor the Rams once again. He and his staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Saturday Sports Show tomorrow morning on AM 940, also online at WMIXports.com from 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. Chris Hugo and I will cover midwinter tournament basketball from boys to girls. Tournament's done. Tournament's getting ready to end tomorrow, and a lot of them getting ready to go next week. It's basketball hoop heaven one more time with wall-to-wall basketball next week. That's the Saturday Sports Show. And right here... You're down nine. You've got to think you stay within touch at six or less by the end of this quarter. Well, yeah, as, as I mentioned at halftime, you wanted to be within striking distance in the fourth and dug ourselves a little hole here. Um, we've got to start getting some stops on the defensive end. Centralia does a great job of you know, ball movement, screening, flipping screens, finding an open shooter. And now the Orphans have it up nine. Backdoor lob, there it is, Alcorn. Lee Bennett runs out, Orbemeyer gets it. Lee Bennett runs that play about once a game. And there it was, 40-29. Nelson across the timeline. He has it, goes to the left side. That is Fitz down the lane amongst the trees, swatted Wood, but it still went in. Wood got a piece of it, Fitz scored, and it's 40-31. to You get amongst the trees, and I can understand it, it's hard to get a shot off in there. Absolutely. We've got to the rim several times tonight, and they, they if they don't block them, they alter them. On the right side, Overmeyer in the corner. That's too young. Under a minute to go. Orphans lead 40 to 31. On the block, Wood double team splits it. Block from behind Reeves and a foul. I'm not sure about that one. But Wood will go to line. And we mentioned Jake Wood as kind of the guy we had to keep an eye on before this game. He has 15 points, nine in the first half. He's got it inside, outside. He's got the entire game here so far in this one. He sure does. And. Hey, he's, he's a pretty smooth smooth player, big body, but uses it well, has nice soft touch, and, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, questionable call there. Uh, smart guy told me a long time ago, if the ball goes down, it wasn't a foul. Wood makes the second. My goodness, what a game he's had. And it's 42-31. Your community, your choice, your bank, with five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter, at WMIX Sports. We've got new content going up there constantly throughout the night. Gilwan Nelson dribble, handoff Gardner on the left wing. 30 seconds to go in the third as Pike comes to the top of the key. Backdoor pass tipped and stolen away. Alcorn runs the other way with no numbers. He'll circle out at the right wing. Now to Owens with 20 seconds. Owens has it. Now goes left side to Young. Young looks over the Rams' defense. He takes his time, now gives it out to Owens. Centrea looking to go up by double digits and more in this third quarter. With it on the wing is Bill Berry. That is up top of the key to Rogers. Right block, Owen Strip got it back. Shot block, Hawk out of bounds, and the horn will sound. In the three quarters, it's Centrea 42, Mount Vernon 31. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. 
back aches, bad hips, rickety knees? Why not try aquatic therapy? The Red Lake College Aquatic Center has more than a swimming pool. Try a six-lane, 75-foot lap pool along with a whirlpool 10 feet in diameter and a 10-foot by 20 hydrotherapy pool. Aquatic therapy is very affordable. In many cases, the tuition is waived entirely. With special access and dressing areas for the elderly and physically challenged, getting in the water is easy. Experts are on hand to assist with various areas of aquatic fitness and rehab. Call 437-5321, extension 1207, or visit rlc.edu. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Back to Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. With five Jefferson County branches and response to quality service for all your accounts, Community First Bank would like would like to be the first to say welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Three quarters in the book, 42-31. Orphan after three quarters, and coach, uh, Mount Vernon's got to get some offense going very quickly here. Yeah, they. we need to come up with something, get a little continuity going, and then also get some stops on the defensive end. Try to come up with an answer for Jake Wood. At the left wing, Wood with it. There's the aforementioned man. Wood has it. Across the right side, left side. Pass tips all the way. Gilwan Nelson down the other way. Lamp good. Probably got fouled. No call. Nelson scores, and it's 42-33. Right now, Mount Vernon's got to battle back and go quickly. Possession. Ooh, Fish got laid out. He got a Jake Wood screen. He goes to the floor. Layup up the other end is good. Simmons Young scores, and it's 44 44- 33. Braden Fitzgerald got knocked down on the ground on a screen by Wood. That's just hard screen. There wasn't any high elbows or anything. And he gets back up. Surprised they let him stay in the game. Yeah, just a good solid screen. Jake had his feet set and uh, Braden probably gives up about 100 pounds to Jake right there. And Braden was playing you know, full court defense, trying to pressure the ball a little bit. Um, I either didn't hear a screen call or there wasn't one. And yeah. You know, and I now, think they might to, make him go out yeah, now. He has to go out because he went down to the floor and they went and checked on him. In this day and age of the era of concussions yeah. and safety, you've got to take care of that business. Well, and I'll tell you right now, I know Braden Fitzgerald's pretty well. He's going straight to the score table. Yeah, he has to, he'll go right back over there. Okay, fine, I'll go I'll go do my penance, and then I'll come back out. Yeah. And it's not really penance. It's just this day and age to be safe. Yep. Now Mount Vernon, or Centralia traps. Nelson throws it away. Steal by Obermeyer. Down the lane over right block. Alcorn posted up on Hawkins. Turn around jumper. Good. Rattles out. Rebound. Two guys down. Jump ball. It'll be the Rams basketball. Make your own great play when you open a community first bank free high yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one member FDIC. Fits out Wilson or fits in Wilson out. That didn't take long. No, no. Centralia picking up the pressure a little bit. Full court man to man defense and they, they jumped that. There it is again. Up down the lane, over in the left corner. Pike three ball in the way. Pay. Rattles oh. out, rebound goes to Young. That was a tough play. And you can see, boy, that was boy, that would have nice been big. Battle. That was half halfway down too. With the ball, Obermeyer on the left wing, looking, 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 looking. Now goes to Alcorn near the timeline. Six forty-five left. Mount Vernon trails, forty-four thirty-three. Left wing, Obermeyer from Wood. Obermeyer goes right side to Young. Young with it. On the dribble, down the lane, shot fake Nelson in the air, good. Man, he has eight, and it's 46-33. Rams down 13 with six and a half to go. Stay tuned to Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show will come your way as Fitz goes to the rim. That's a block. And in this day and age, it's rare to draw a foul, a charging foul, even though we've seen lots this year. Fitz will go line and shoot two. Go ahead. I was just going to say, that's going to be on Owens, his second. That's the first team foul of first. the half. Yep. Uh, they play some solid defense. You can't complain. That is true. They, they've really been impressive defensively. Pretty content the first three quarters to kind of sit back and pack it in, as you've said. And then in this fourth quarter, we've seen two possessions, two full court, and they're going to make Braden, Come for Braden get wrapped check. up. Yep. Got some blood. Always banking your hometown team, Community First Bank, the home of the one account featuring free check and high yield interest member FDIC. Scott Gamber is going to call a timeout. This timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway. 
The Medicine Shop Pharmacy is proud to sponsor the Rams once again. Dr. Eric Black and staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Oh, some South 7 scores at the half. Cokie at home leads Carbondale 31-30. Althoff leads Marion at half 39-25. So home teams are carrying the card, the card here tonight in the South 7. Everybody up at the half at home. That's not a shock with these games. Yeah, it is such an advantage whether we be back at Shagnon or games here, anywhere around the league. It's pretty tough to win on the road in this league. That scoreboard update brought to you by Tony Wilt. We'll get another one later on. Tony Wilt, glad to help your family with all your insurance needs. Give his office a call and find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. The WMI Sports Mobile Studio is driven here tonight by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. It's how we get to these games as Braden Fitzgerald drives to the line and makes the first. He's been knocked down by a screen, came out, went back in, got blood. Now he's taped up. You know, I'm not, arm. I'm not so sure Coach Gamber didn't call that timeout so Braden could stay in the game. I think they were going to make him come out uh-huh. and take care of that blood issue. Coach Gamber took a timeout and averted that. 46-35 as Fitz makes both. Mount Vernon presses for the first time tonight, and that's a foul. Gardner got caught driving the bus, as we like to say. Hand check. You fouled. Scott Gamber saying, yeah, you did. And Mount Vernon will have to pressure again down 11, 6.17 to go. You can see it from here, our beautiful vantage point here at Centralia. We enjoy coming here. The faculty and staff and administration take care of us every time we come up here. And side out of bounds coming for the Orphans. Young throws it back in the backcourt to Obermeyer. Mount Vernon picks up full court. Jake Woods there again. Somebody needs to talk. Obermeyer left corner to Alcorn. Alcorn does not go ball screen. Goes left baseline. Right wing three coming from Young on the way. Rattles out. Wood on the rebound. Man, he's everywhere. Jake Wood with a top of the key to Alcorn on the left side to Overmeyer in the corner. Overmeyer with it to Young. Now the right side to Wood. He'll dribble and hand off to Overmeyer. Overmeyer fits Pester's him. Overmeyer to free throw line back door cut. Oh, stolen away Pike. Milbury couldn't handle it. Pike on the seal. Fits down the lane. Here he comes. One on five. Last shot short. Rebound tipped around. Fitz has it back to Wilson on the wing to Pike. Top of the key back to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald down the lane, runs again against the trees, and he's fouled. Fitz making something happen, getting to the rim, and Obermeyer picks up his second, and that's the second on the order. Yeah, Braden's look, really looking to be aggressive as we get into this fourth quarter, going to the rim hard, drawing some fouls, and earning some freebies at the line. Hopefully that last possession kept alive by Doug Gardner. Good job tipping it out to Braden. Facebook.com slash WMI Sports, new content up there. Also, people liking us as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WMI Sports and give us a like as well. Fitz hits the first. He'll get another. 46-36. Mount Vernon trails by 10 with five and a half to go. WMI Sports Mobile Studios driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. That's how we got here to the game tonight. Fitz misses the second rebound to Overmeyer. Actually got away to travel. He made a catch. Got both feet in bounds, but he tinkled toes, and he still has the possession. Up the left side. Now the left baseline, Alcorn. Now top of the key to Owen. Now to Overmeyer to Alcorn. And they look. Couple of dribbles to the right to Billberry. Billberry holds. Now comes down the lane. Oh, that's a charge. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, Jake, it is. Jake Pike took the charge. Billberry was trying to do three things at once, but his feet, and my, feet weren't going that fast. That's exactly right. Jake did a nice job stepping in there and taking one for the team. Those don't feel good, but... Uh, alternating possession, or excuse me, possession going our way now. Down 10. Chance to cut it to single digits. And the Rams come the other way. Fifth top of the key. Fifth has it to Hawkins. Hawkins with it on that left side. Now three from Fifth on the way. It's off the mark. Rebound to Shikari Hawkins again. Boy, he's been everywhere on the offensive glass. Hawkins with it top of the key. He's going to get his down the lane of Wilson in the corner, three ball in the way, short front of the iron, rebound Obermeyer. Obermeyer has it. And Obermeyer comes the other way. Obermeyer has it on the left wing, that's to Owens. Owens with it. Comes to the top of the key, right side to Young. Young has it. With it, Mount shoots a three from Owens, it's no good, and then Mount Vernon has the board. Mount Vernon dodges another points bulletin. With it across the timeline, Hawkins lost it out of bounds. They went coast to coast, got too much air in the basketball. Ooh, that hurts when you're trying to come from behind. Yeah, we've had some opportunities. We've got to start converting them, take care of the basketball, and get stops on the defensive end. 
across the timeline. Centralia with it. That's Young in the lane. Right side pass Wood. Jake Wood's going to go to the free throw line again. He has 17 points. And we'll get there again off of a Rams foul. I think they're going to call it on the floor. Oh, there we go. That's a break. We'll take that. Gardner has four, though. That hurts. Inbounds goes to Centralia underneath their own basket. Inside pass. They go to Alcorn to Overmeyer on the left block. In the corner to Young. Has it stripped and stolen away by Fitz. Gardner comes the other way for the Rams. Left bounce pass to Wilson. Got away with the travel and scores. It's all right. Mount Vernon needs a break. He has five. Blue Wilson does, and it's 46-38. Mount Vernon within single digits. Across the timeline. Picks and stolen fit. He's got to steal the other way. One on two. Oh, yep, up and in. Mount Vernon on a little bit of a run here. Has cut it back to 46-40. 3.38 left. The black and orange rise up across the way. Mount Vernon will have the defensive stop. They need another. Overmeyer on the left side to the top of the key. Down the lane, right side to Alcorn, top of the key to Owens. Owens over to Young, now top of the key to Wood. Centralia may be letting a little air out of the basketball here. Top of the key is Owens. Left elbow jumper extended, long off the mark, not what Lee Bennett wanted by the body language. Now Mount Vernon has an opportunity to really make it tight. And Centralia foul fits as he went to the rim. Now it gets interesting. It does get interesting. Got it to within six. I'm a little surprised Coach Bennett hasn't called a timeout. Uh, we've put a little run together, and uh, Centralia hasn't responded yet. Centralia playing it close. Out of bounds, Mount Vernon. Pike by his own basket. The Fitz to Pike in the right corner below us. Back to Fitz. Fitz to Shikari Hawkins. Hawkins has it with 2.58 to go. Mount Vernon down two possessions, 46-40. Pike on the right wing to Hawkins, top of the key. Comes to the left wing, Gardner for a three. Good! Doug Gardner knocks down his first three of the game, and it's 46-43. Orphans with the ball. Obermeyer brings it across the timeline. Wood screens. Pike ran into Wood, knocked Wood down. That'll be a foul on Pike. It'll be Jake's second. Team six. Yeah. Jake Wood fell like a crumpled piece of paper. Probably the first time he fell like that. I think so. But you got to do those gamesmanship types of things to earn a game. Side out of bounds. Home side. Young with it for the Orphans. Throws it in the backcourt to Owens. Orphans will bring it across the timeline. Blue 2.30 to go. Inside pass. Stolen away. Pike to Hawkins. Mount Vernon has a chance to tie with 2.25 to go. Fitzgerald's across the timeline. Fitz with it, top of the key. On the dribble, guarded by Owens. 2.15 to go. Ball screen from Hawk. Fitz left corner, Pike. For the tie. No good, but a foul. Jake Pike. Jake Wood ran him over. Jake Wood ran Pike over on the shot. His second. Jake Pike to the line to shoot three to try to tie this game up. With 2.11 to go, the Orphans led by 13 at one point in this quarter. Yeah, the Centralia coaching staff is all on the bench, head in hand. 2.11 to go. Jake's got a chance to tie it up here. And, again, I'm, I'm very surprised they haven't called a timeout and try to settle their guys a little bit. Oh, Pike missed the first. He'll have two more. 2.11 to go in the game. Stay tuned for the Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. We will have scoring and stats when this one's over. Pike's going to shoot a second one. Lee Bennett wanted a timeout, didn't get it. Pike makes the second. Now Lee Bennett will take a timeout. It is 46-44. Pike will be at the line for one more. This timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop. Derek, Dr. Eric Black, 2339 Broadway. Proud to sponsor the Rams once again. He and his staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Jake Pike with a free throw. The Rams showing some moxie right now. Down 13 early in this quarter. Coach back to within two with one free throw left. Well, they've done a nice job. Offensively, they got some things going. I'll tell you who started it is the catalyst, Braden Fitzgerald. Uh, two to three possessions in a row. Braden went hard to the basket, um, got himself to the free throw line, earned, I believe it was th- three out of four there, three points from the free throw line. And then on the other end, uh, Centralia has had good ball movement all night, but just in the last four or five minutes, they've tightened up a little bit, thrown a few away, bobbled a few, missed a couple shots and the Rams have taken advantage. Stay tuned for the Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. Coach and I will have scoring and stats of this one. We're going to have a massive scoreboard at the end of this one. I only have three columns of scores here. 
And I, I know I'm going to get more. You're going to have to bust into those other 17 pens you've got in I, that box tonight. I, I showed you, I, being a teacher in the day job, I've got more pens than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> and I've got different types of pens. He, you've that seen is true. You Pencil, go out, can I have a pen? Pencils, go, sharpened, yeah. unsharpened, erasers, no erasers. I'm kind of organized. Gel like pens. Yeah, I do. Ink pens. Gel quill pens, pens are for you. Quill that's pens. Football, yeah. <laughs> gel pens are for you. That's, what, that's, your, that's where they get lined out at. That third free throw, Pike is good. He makes two out of three. It is now 46-45, Mount Vernon down one. They will pressure. Full court man-to-man. Owens will bring it up, holding up one finger. Jake Woods coming on a high screen. There he goes again. Picks off fifth, but they get it into the front court. Baseline drive goes by Young in the trees, up and in. Uh, Young scores. He's got six and a quarter, ten in the game. 48-45, 150 to go in this one. Fitz across the timeline on the dribble. The Hawk in the left right block. Dribbles out right wing, faces the basket. Now to Fitz on the left side. Dribble fake, now goes left wing Gardner. Gardner hit a big three, didn't have it. Mount Vernon perimeter oriented right now. Now Gardner wants it. High if he makes it. No good. Rebound Fitz. Tipped out, rebound. There's going to get it. Mike battles Jake Wood, and it goes out of bounds off Centralia. Oh, my goodness. The Orphan fans are irate on the front row of the chair seats across the way. Mount Vernon has it with 90 seconds to go in the game. They're wiping the hustle off the basketball. Gardner has it side out of bounds in front of the red-clad Orphan fan. Fitz will bring it across the timeline, 128 to go. Wilson to Hawk, top of the key. Hawk on the dribble, looking over to Fitz. Fitz thought about it, now dribbles to the free throw line, back out top of the key. 118 left to go. Fifth three-pointer for the tie. Short front rim, no good. Jake Wood on the rebound. Not a shot they wanted at that point. Wood across the timeline to Obermeyer. Down to the middle of the circle. Mount Vernon needs the foul. There goes Alcorn to the rim, scores. Mount Vernon wanted the foul. Alcorn scored, 50-45. Under a minute to go. Fifth top of the key. Gardner, 25-footer up and no good over the backboard. Rebound Wood. It went side, and that's why they did not call the over. And Wilson has his second. That's the eighth on Mount Vernon. So the Orphans will shoot one and one. Coach, it's one of those, you're down three, but you had plenty of time. Do you need that at that point? Well, I I don't think so. I think we we could have worked it around and maybe got something toward the rim. Um, On the other end of the floor, Alcorn did a nice job of getting all of our guys are out pressuring around the perimeter. Alcorn beats his guy, gets a layup. Uh, puts them puts them up five and now with a chance to go up even more. Free throw coming from Overmeyer is good. He is three of three tonight from the line. Stay tuned for the Schmidt Chevrolet post game show. Scoring and stats in this one. And we'll have scores from around Southern Illinois and they're coming fast and free. A second free throw is no good. Oh my goodness. Chased down the corner by Alcorn. Now to Overmeyer on the left wing. They give the foul. They'll send Overmeyer back to the line. Oh, you cannot give up shots. No, you and can't. rebound. No, especially and there's just there's no excuse for it. I know that'll that'll frustrate Coach Gamber on on a free throw. Uh, there's no reason you can't step in, box out, be big, and go up and get the basketball back. Well, first free throw is good. We can tell you that number one and number two and three A are going to overtime. They were turning people away at the gate. Jared Shaner couldn't even get into that game. <laughs> Long drive. Well, it is. You get to work here as the fill-in analyst. That was the label given to you by Chris Hugo. Yes, it was. And it hurts your feelings, but we're going to try to make you feel better. Centralia had the second free throw made, 53-45, then they foul. And that's got to drive Lee Bennett crazy. Carbondale's up 18 with 30 seconds to go in the third. They came back from double digits on the road. Centralia, 16 fouls. It's an eight-point game, 53-45. Mount Vernon to trigger the inbound. Pike. Underneath his own basket. Box set, Mount Vernon. Pike triggers and looks and throws way in the backcourt to Fitz. Fitz with it. It's not over and back because he didn't have possession. Fitz loses it at the line. Now has a double team stolen away. Fitz back with it. Now to Wilson, top of the key. Wilson has it. Wilson will throw to Hawkins, top of the key. Hawk on the dribble. Now right wing Gardner. To the rim he goes over Wood. No good. Rebound Overmeyer. And that should do it. Mount Vernon's had their chances, and Centralia had enough to stop. And you can hear the Orphan fans are jacked because they're going to get a win over Mount Vernon here tonight. Yeah, lots of red on their feet right now. And, uh, you know, a hard-fought basketball game. 
Uh, Mount Vernon did a nice job of battling back. As you said, did have some chances, uh, you know, down three a couple times. They actually even got it to within one or two at one point. Uh, just couldn't, couldn't quite get over the hump. First free throw by Overmeyer is good. Stay tuned for the Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show scoring and stats and a massive scoreboard update coming your way in that postgame show. Second free throw no good. It's 50-45. Hawkins to the top of the key. Three ball on the way short. No good. Rebound Centralia. Mount Vernon will not foul. Your final score tonight here from Centralia. Orphans 54. Rams 45. We'll take a break and come back to the Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday sports show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this sports season. The Saturday sports show on WMIX and WMIXsports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. Did your bank recently stop offering free checking? People's National Bank still has free checking with the added convenience of a Visa check card, online banking, bill pay, money pass, and mobile banking. Stop by People's National Bank located at 413 South 34th Street in Mount Vernon today for details on how to get your free checking account. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, non-usage fees may apply. Raise your hand if you're tired of showing up for a service appointment only to sit around a waiting room. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer at King City Chrysler Center. Our express lane fast oil changes and more provide quick, convenient service with no appointment needed. Our specialists are on hand to wait on you with lanes dedicated just for your oil changes, tire rotation, brake inspections, batteries, bulbs, wiper blades, air filter replacements, and more. We will also perform complimentary vehicle inspection with every oil change. We work around your schedule, open weekdays from 7.30 until 5, and Saturdays from 8 a.m. until noon. See Express Lane Fast Oil Changes and more for all of your service needs and we will get you back on the road quick. We're located at King City Crisis Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Just another reason you can count on us. When you hear the warm, inviting sound of a crackling fire, what comes to mind? A rustic campground? A cozy cabin? How about the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center? Our new family lounges feature a lot of comforts you might not expect. Things like this. No, that's not a babbling brook or serene stream out in the countryside. It's a two-story waterfall located right here at Good Samaritan. And that's not the only way we're raising the bar for patient comfort. We've added lush healing gardens, as well as wall after wall of beautiful artwork, all designed to create the perfect healing atmosphere. And if all this sounds like music to your ears, we encourage you to check us out. Chances are, we're not too far from where you are right now. The new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, raising the bar. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show starts now. Final score here at the CHS Arena. The Mount Vernon Rams played valiantly but lost here tonight by a final score of 54-45. We welcome you back in to the Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. Rams lose 54-45. Denny Zawinski and Jared Shaner alongside will remind you that tomorrow morning from 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. on AM 940 and online at WMIXSports.com will be the Saturday sports show. Guests lined up with coaches talking about teams that are getting ready to play, have played, and will play in championship games of midwinter tournaments. We also have several different athletic directors lined up who have that task of coordinating, helping to schedule, and getting teams for some tournaments around Southern Illinois. It is a midwinter tournament show. We're going to get you ready for all the midwinter tournaments that have been going on this week, next week, and the week after. That's tomorrow on the Saturday Sports Show, 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. on AM 940 and online at WMIXSports.com. 
We'll have a scoreboard update coming up in the next part of the segment. Actually, I can give some more now while we figure it out. South 7 scores. We go with Carbondale leads Cahokia at the end of 3, 59 on the road. And Marion trails Altoff on the road, 48-40. to We will go through some more scores here in a little bit. We'll take a break and come back with scoring and stats from this one. Mount Vernon loses that Centrea tonight, 54 54- 45. We'll take a break and come back with those scoring and stats. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. For 16 years, I wrote about the area's great teams. Now I'm part of a great team, the sales team, Schmidt Ford of Salem. Hi, folks, it's Mike McManus, and I'm proud to be part of the Schmidt Ford family. Whether it be a new or pre-owned vehicle, let me or any other of our professional sales consultants help you find your next car or truck. You'll be glad you did. So stop by Schmidt Ford of Salem or visit us online at schmidtfordofsalem.com. Dig in with full contact coal miner training at Red Lake College. Learn in our new 20,000 square feet coal mine training center. Use real equipment like continuous miners and power sitters. And check out the new mine rescue and fire safety training tunnel. Associate degree and occupational certificates available. We're full contact, hands-on coal mining. Real equipment, real live, all the time. What are you waiting for? Call 618-437-5321 and get started. Watch the Rams online at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Ren Lake College. Welcome into the Smith Chevrolet postgame show. Final score here at Centralia. Orphans 54, Rams 45. Denny's Whiskey and Jared Shaner alongside as the Rams drop to 11-5 and five on the year. Centralia goes to 15-1 and one as both teams head into the Salem Invitational Tournament. Scoring and stats of how this one got to 54-45. I'll turn it over to Coach Sainer, and he can fill you in. Well, as you said, Danny, 54-45. Centralia wins this one. Scoring for the Orphans tonight. Owens finished with seven. Obermeyer had ten, as did Simmons Young. Alcorn had eight. Jeff Rogers with one. Jake Wood led all scores with 18. On the Rams side of the scoring column, Gilwan Nelson had a bucket for two points. Braden Fitzgerald, 12 points for the Rams. Luke Wilson had five. Doug Gardner had six. Shikari Hawkins also had 12. Jake Pike had eight for the Rams. Uh, Centralia out-rebounded the Rams 24-18 to this evening. Mount Vernon, although they did a better job in the second half, had 14 total turnovers to the Orphans' 11. Denny, I think that's it. Really? Centralia wins 954-45. A case of Mount Vernon made that run late, got it to 46-43, and a couple possessions in a row where Mount Vernon gun threes. Maybe the excitement of the moment, energy, youth got to them. Maybe for some of the shots they didn't want to take. Well, I, I think that's kind of the case, and and a, a tough thing for a coach to do in in basketball is we got back in the game with some nice drives by Braden. But we also hit three or four big threes to claw our way back in. And it's tough to tell a kid who just made one not to shoot the next one. Um, It's easy from our vantage point to kind of pick and choose which ones we feel like are good ones and which ones are ill-advised. But the kids out on the court, and you got to like that about the kids too, is that, hey, I just stepped up and hit one. I'm going to step up and hit my next one. If it goes down, it's a great shot. And if it doesn't, then, you know, you question and you wonder and and maybe could have worked the ball a little bit more. But... Uh, the Rams did a nice job of clawing their way back in. They were down double digits into the fourth quarter, uh, made a game of it, and I thought the kids competed well tonight. Mount Vernon loses by a score of 54-45. We'll take another break. We'll come back. We'll have to pick a player of the game. We'll also have a massive scoreboard update here after our next and final break. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. 
There's a good reason why Second Chance Auto has been in business for 33 years. They believe in doing business the right way with honest deals. It's the only way they know. And thanks to Second Chance Auto, you don't have to head out of town to get financing. They offer bank rate financing to everyone. Yes, everyone. You'll find a great selection of quality vehicles with three-month or 3,000-mile warranties. Come see why they've been successful for 33 years at Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. At Vanterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Vanterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. Watch the Rams online at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Renlake College. Final score here tonight is Centralia on the Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. Centralia beats Mount Vernon 54-45. Danny Zwinski and Jared Shane are alongside. And Coach, we'll pick a player of the game first and give this massive scoreboard update that we have. And uh, we talked, we voted, we had some people walk by voted. No, I'm just kidding. It was just <laughs> you and I. We don't let anybody else vote. And uh, we came to a conclusion of who we had as a player of the game. Yeah, we did. We went with, uh, we were on the fence. We went with co-players of the game for a couple reasons. Uh, Braden Fitzgerald and Shakari Hawkins, um, I felt like in the uh, early, the fourth, Braden kind of took the team on his back, um, got to the rim several times. Shakari was very active, kept the ball alive in the offensive rebound department a few times, got some putbacks. Uh, both of those guys finished with 12 points this evening and, and did a pretty nice job of leading the Rams. Player of the game, uh, our, our players of the game are Shikari Hawkins and Braden Fitzgerald. Now we're going to give a massive scoreboard update that we have. South 7, end of 3, Carbondale over Koki at 55-39. Bath, end of 3, Altoff over Marion, 48-40. Final score, Carterville beat Pinckneyville by a score of 55-36. At half, it was Sparta over AJ, 25-23, and then a final... Nashville beat DuCoin 39-23. In a River to River, Ohio, at the end of three, Murphy over Benton, 50-30. At half, Frankfurt trailed Massac, 32-26. Harrisburg leads Heron, 61-59, with about a minute to go. And the Black Diamond, it is at, in the fourth quarter, Goreville leads Christopher, 48-44. At the end of three, Johnson City over Hamilton County, 42-39. Cesar Valera beat ZR 50-42, and Fairfield beat Carmi 65-32. Scores from everywhere else that we can find scores. Lebanon over Bunker Bunker Hill, 62-46. St. Anthony's lost to Modern Day, 70-33. It is, uh, at the end of three, Collinsville leading Belleville West, 41-29. We do have a final now. Murphy beat Benton, 66-48. That one just came through on Twitter. It is Waterloo over Jerseyville, 53-44. Mount Carmel beat Booneville, Indiana, 72-59. Springfield Southeast beat Taylorville, 69-45. T-Town beat St. Joe Ogden, 57-51. Lanfear in overtime leads Lincoln, 53-46. Newton beat Lawrenceville, 53-39. Highland beat Mascouta, 66-46. Edwardsville at the three led Alton 46-42. Effingham led Salem at the end of three 30-9, and now they have beaten Salem 39-19. Harrisburg leads Murphy or Harrisburg leads Heron 66-65 with 28.9 seconds left in that one. Belleville East beat Granite City 42-25. Oakville beat Westland 86-55. It's Dietrich at the half leading South Central 23-7. Bree Central beat Redbud 55-32. Altamont beat North Clay 72-32. At the end of three, Mount Zion led Charleston 43-39. And Vandalia beat Greenville 
68-57. That is a scoreboard update. That's how I do it. Brought to you by Tony Wilton State Farm Insurance. Glad to help your family. With all your insurance needs, give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. Any scores tonight, we're going to update them on Twitter at WMI Sports. Give us a follow. We also have some content just posted on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMI Sports. You can also get a scoreboard update at WMIXports.com because every night of high school sports season from August to June, we'll have a scoreboard update posted there every night. There will be one later tonight. Pretty massive. Coach Shaner, before we wrap it up, we've done everything we're supposed to do, but we'll wrap it up. Your thought on this one and what was a tight ball game? Well, we knew it was going to be a uh, tall, tall hill to climb coming in. Um, Centralia's got a, a very good basketball team this year, obviously, by their record. And, and then you add to the fact that they're at home. Um, tough place to play for an opponent. Good crowd tonight for them. Uh, very proud of our kids for battling back. I felt like could uh, could have rolled over there in the third quarter, didn't. Got back in it, and uh, tough game. Got to get back on it, get into the tournament this next week, and see what happens. Mount Vernon will play on, what is it, Thursday night at 8.30, opening night against the Salem Wildcats. That will not be easy, playing a home team on their home floor. Final score tonight, Centralia 54, Mount Vernon 45. For Hunter Strader in the studio, for Jared Shaner, I'm Danny Zerwinski. Reminder about the Saturday Sports Show tomorrow on AM 940 and online at WMIXports.com from 8.08 a.m. Hope you can join us. Thank you for listening, and good night, everybody. Thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Rams Basketball on WMIX Sports is powered by the official voice of Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Rams Basketball is also sponsored in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square, and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Ren Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar winning edge schmidt ford of salem and also by the orthopedic center of southern illinois landers collision centers of mount vernon and salem schmidt chevrolet of mount vernon all stars and stitches central christian church and people's national bank stay in the game on twitter follow us at wmix sports or log on to wmixsports.com Now, back to today's hot country on the legendary WMIX.